Hey everyone, it's Delta. And Morgan McMichael. And we are here with Fashion Photo Review, the Oscars edition. Yes, Oscars. Well, I'm loving your look. It's very Thank daytime love, Emmy. Yeah, I love this. It's very Peggy I feel, Bundy. I was feeling sort of Valley of the Dolls with my hair. You're giving me like Rita Hayworth list. Yeah, bitch. First time together on Fashion Photo Review. This is our first time together, which is weird because we do everything together. Thank God Raven's in jail and Raja is on a broken down bus somewhere in Idaho. Sorry. Should we get some tooting and some booting? Let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, so our first lady of the evening is the amazing Jennifer Lopez. I Lopez. think this dress is beautiful. Everything's tasteful. This is an Ely Saab dress and I think it's just very tasteful, beautiful, timeless. I think it's lovely. I think she could go to her quinceanera in it afterwards. But I think yeah. she looks beautiful. The skin tone, is, she always hits it. Every time she's on a carpet, the body is together. She looks fucking fantastic. I love it. I give JLo a toot. How can you not? And I give JLo all the toots. So what drag racer do you think would look great in this outfit? I definitely see Fifi O'Hara in this look. I really? Think, yeah, I really do. I really see Fifi in this. She might do maybe a bigger hair or maybe uh, accessorize with like maybe a larger earring or something, but Fifi really knows about balance for me. I would love to see Sonique in something like this. Mm. Length, cover up the body. She is. She has a beautiful body, but I want to see it covered. Our next victim is... Naomi Watts. She is wearing... Um, a pile of shit. You don't like it? Not at gunpoint, no. it's so horrible. I mean, maybe we, I'm just seeing it from just this angle, but I'm kind of getting sort of a sports bra going on on the top, and then the handbag. I need a different handbag with this. I need a different everything. It's like very follow the yellow brick road without mm. the bricks being yellow. It's probably a beautiful dress on, on the runway, on the model, you know, looking like on the hanger, but on her, I just, I think it's a little flat. Naomi, I love your earrings. I do not like your handbag. I do not like your dress. I do not like and your it's hair. And called a hairbrush. Don't come to my party in the dress. <laughs> You're not invited. <laughs> Sorry, don't come to the Red Cup Social in that. A complete boot. I just... have to give it a boot as well. Naomi Watts. Well, who do you think would look good in a dress like this? Who could actually? Nobody. Nobody? Nobody I really? think would, from Drag Race would wear something as shitty as that. And I'm sorry for whoever made it, but that's not cute. Our next lady on the red carpet is Scarlett Johansson in green. I love her to death. You know, it's so hard to do a big piece of jewelry like that, I think. But when you do it, I think in this similar color, and your hair, the hair is pulled back like that. I think it just looks really effortless. And this could be wearing her, but she's definitely wearing this for me. I don't think that it overwhelms her in any way. I think the makeup is simple enough, but it's direct and clean enough to support this. I think it looks beautiful. What a beautiful color of green on her as well. I love the monochromatic. I love the one look and her body looks sickening. I'm, I want this look. I'm having this dress remade, I think. Sickening. I give Scarlett Johansson toot. Two toots. Gorgeous. I love your toots. My toots? Your toots, toots are fucking toots, rad. Toots, toots, toots. Every queen from RuPaul's Drag Race needs this because it covers a breastplate. Our next celebrity on the red carpet is Jared Leto and- The biggest dick in Hollywood. Does he have a big dick? I wasn't talking about his dick. I was oh. just talking about him being a dick. Whoa. But he does have a huge cock though. He might have a really big dick. He might be a big dick. I don't know. But He's I beautiful. just think this is, I mean, come on. What are you wearing? Maybe you were at like, the carry prom or something. 16 not, candles. I'm not into it. I'm very old school when it comes to stuff and I'd love to see gentlemen wearing just a beautifully tailored traditional tuxedo. No. Maybe play with accessories somehow, maybe a complimentary color, but I, I do appreciate that he has a boot mirror on. I think that's elegant. I something disagree That's with popular you. right now. Yo, you love it. I love it. I just think the traditional tuxedo is great, but it's every year. It's the right. same people okay. and the same stuff. Like you say, you're an old school kind of bitch. I'm old school kind of bitch. It reminds me of like 1980s John you know, Hughes mm. movies, and I love that he with the ugly shoes. He is wearing the certified nursing assistant shoes. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not a fan of those. I know that this is probably intentionally supposed to sort of be cropped a little bit, but I say save that for a garden party, not for a formal event. I agree. This is completely bootable for me. I'm so sorry. I love your boutonniere, though. I disagree. I totally toot it just because he's a sexy son of a bitch. And I know this is fashion, and it's not the most fashionable thing, but at the end of the day, he could punch me in the face and I'd be okay with that. The drag racer I see in this is Sharon Needles. I feel like Sharon loves to do crop suits. I could see Alaska in this. They do wear a crop suit. They, I, I think it works for them. I think I it's think too bright for us, Sharon. She's, you know, she's a dark soul. She likes the darker colors. Could be. But I think the that, silhouette uh, maybe. Okay. You know, or the princess. She's very retro with her look. Okay. Remember her? I do. 
Ladies and gentlemen, our next celebrity from the red carpet is the one and only Mary Lou Han I mean, <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow. What a beautiful color. If you were really spending a lot of money on a bridesmaid's dress. Right. If you were spending a lot of money on a bridesmaid's dress, this is what you would get. And if you were a star and you were gonna be in a wedding, you would be fine being in a group of seven or nine or 12 other girls in the same dress. See, there's a whole lot I hate about this. Okay. I feel like this is uh, one of those dresses that an old English mother would wear. It's just missing a hat for a funeral. It looks like a Windsor fashion. I get special occasion from this as well. I do, and, I, and the Oscars is a special occasion, but I mean. But it's not a special occasion on a $200 budget. Ah, uh, Gwyneth. I just, you know, if you're giving someone away at the wedding, this is the dress for you. If you're going to the Oscars, this is not the dress for you. I boot you. Sorry, bitch. Gwyneth, I give you a boot as well. Well, who do you think would look great and look like this? Nobody? Raja. Oh, Probably. Raja. She likes her little shoulder accoutrement. I don't know if I see Raja in this. I see, um... Well, no boobs. No makeup, it is Raja. I see somebody from RuPaul's Drag Race who got the call to be on RuPaul's Drag Race, <laughs> but said, you're on hold. Sorry. Our next celebrity on the red carpet is Reese Witherspoon. I would like to see a little more makeup on her face. Like, cover girl. Just smooth it out, it's very uneven to me. But we're talking about her dress. I think it's simple, I think it's clean. She's very like, this was a lucky find at Ross. Mm. And I'm gonna wear it to my husband's Christmas party and you can't fucking take it. What color shoe do you wear with a dress like that? Just like a black, a black pump maybe? Well, she's probably wearing her house shoes. I don't like the bracelet around her arm. I don't know why, I just don't like it. I think I would have done one beautiful ring and that was it. I think I'd like to see Violet Tchotchke in this, maybe. Okay. She likes that classic look. Well, you know what, Reese? I am going to give you a toot because I love the dress. Everything else, you should have known better. Did these people not have gays on their team? Like, you know, I know that uh, Andy Cohen doesn't like the term, my gays, but like, she must have a team of gays that are like, bitch, you look well, mess. Does she just have a team of anybody? I mean, right. a, a team of anybody to let her know that the makeup is, but maybe she was just kind of wanted the dress to show. I toot you, but you need to get your hair and makeup done. I'm so serious. $40 purchase at MAC, they'll do your makeup. <laughs> I'm so serious about that. You just buy a lip liner, a spice liner and like maybe some Cinnamon. like pretty, yeah, or gloss. some carousel gloss, something, just anything. Go get your hair done. What are you doing? Bye. Bye, bitch. Our next two celebrities on the red carpet are Melanie Griffith and her daughter, Dakota. Melanie Griffith has a really beautiful dress on. I think her body looks pretty in it. It's probably more beautiful in person, I would imagine, because I feel like there's some sort of detail up top that we're kind of missing. But I think the silhouette is beautiful on her. I love long sleeves on dresses, I think they look really elegant. A lot of people, you know, wanna wear more skin, and, and that's fine, but I think she's featuring a lot of skin up top. Her daughter, on the other hand, is an exquisite dress. I think okay. it might be a little mature for her. I don't know how old she is. The slit up the side doesn't work for me, and she has really tiny tits. Well, I'm not happy with the handbag at all. I mean, I think it's supposed to be black, but it's reading some other color, some sort of weird off Pewter. black. Or, yeah. I don't know what it is, but I'm not happy with it. I feel like it draws all the attention right there. You're not looking at the dress, you're not looking at her makeup. All you're looking at is that weird, free handbag from Payless, and I'm just, I'm not happy right. with that. Right, free gift with purchase. Melanie gets a toot for me, and the daughter gets a boot for me. For me, Melanie gets a toot. The daughter, you're, like, you get like a half toot. I would love to see Melanie's dress on a really curvy, juicy girl from Drag Race, and I could see a dress like this, and I have seen a dress like this in blue on Victoria Porkchop Parker. Our next celebrity is a nightmare. It's Elmo, ladies and gentlemen. You know, this is one of those outfits that you either love it or you hate it. Beautiful, yes. beautiful color. For me, the issue with this is there's not a focal point. Because there's no cutout anywhere, it just goes like this. It's right. like a big triangle she is looks what like I'm a getting tent. out of it. Is there's just too much volume and there's nowhere in there do you actually see any of her body. I don't see her bones, I don't see her breasts, you know, I barely see her hands. She's a short woman. So when you're short, you have to dress accordingly and wearing one monochromatic color is not it for you. Solange, you get a boot. You get a boot for me, I'm so sorry. I'm sure it's very expensive and I'm sure it would be lovely for a gallery opening if you were like the teacher at a community college or something, but other than that, it's, this is not formal enough for me. Our last celebrity is Patricia Arquette. Mm. I love this. Mm -hmm. The capelet at the back like that goes over the shoulder. I wish the hair was a little bit more cleaned up, but I think she looks stunning. I think that the hairdressers and makeup artists were on strike. They must That's have been. That's what it was, because everyone really just, all they had was, I think maybe one can of hairspray to share. They had <laughs> one scrunchie to put in the back. 
Right. Um, nobody could figure out where to find a rhinestone clip for their hair. Or an eyelash. Right. Nobody had a teasing comb to figure out how to make a proper French roll, a twist, or a, a bun, something. I am happy about her handbag. I am happy about her dress. I think her arms look beautiful. I would like to see an earring, but again, these are just you know, final touches, and I know you're probably not gonna survive until you get my advice about what kind of earring to wear. I know you're dying to get a drag queen's opinion. I give you a toot, Morgan gives you a toot. You look gorgeous. You do. Our top toot of the week is Scarlett Johansson. In emerald, looking Please. gorgeous. Neck pieces. Honey. If you're gonna have Earth that neck piece, tones. if you're gonna be that powerful, slick your hair back Ooh. and show it. You can't clutter it all up too much. No, it's fresh. Simple mug, let the jewelry, let the body speak for Right, itself. that's what you're doing right simple now. Simple mug, simple. Nothing too much. My hairdresser was working today, so I'm cool, but. I just woke up. Yeah. Clearly. Trend alert. No hair. No makeup. Completely bald. Artists are on strike. Just wash and go. Why even bother? Just. Put your fingers through, just brush it through. In fact, you can even go to the gas station and turn that air vent on and just blow your hair just like that and go. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe to, to wow, wow Presents. Presents. Oh yeah, fucking oh, subscribe you bitches. Subscribe you. Uh, uh. Did you hear the news? RuPaul's DragCon is the first ever drag convention in history. Go to RuPaul'sDragCon.com for tickets and all the tea you need to know.